Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's video we are going to talk about creation of records in Entity Framework on Apple Silicon. We have already seen how we could read those records or even uh, read single record or multiple records. In this one, we are going to use the another operation within the CRUD, that is the creation of records in EF. So we'll see how we could create record in the primary table and we could also leverage the relationships within the entity framework to create the associated record in the uh, child table also so let's get uh, our hands dirty and see how it is practically done so friends let's see uh, firstly how can you use uh, entity framework to insert a record in any of the tables uh, we already have seen that we are working with our department table and there is also a DPT, uh, an employee table uh, which has a primary key foreign key relationship. Now primarily this is a child table because it links up to a foreign key with the department number and department table is technically a, a parent uh, table and it has a primary key of department number. So the first one what we are going to do is how to insert record within this table that is department with the help of entity framework. So let's get started and uh, let's copy our uh, old uh, method and we'll just rename it let's say add record to parent uh, table so let's say this one now this one when when you try to enter this uh, you don't need any kind of a uh, uh, fetching from that or you don't need any let's say uh, what you called as a loop so what you need to do is because if you see uh, those entities are represented in the form of uh, uh, those um, uh, classes or models which are available to us and in our case we have a department which is available to us and then we'll say dpt is equal to new of department and then what we can do here is we could just supply some values let's say department number is equal to 50 and uh, the department name is equal to let's say it's a test department uh, and then finally department dot location is equal to for example we'll just simply say it's british columbia something like that and then what we need to do is just to uh, save this record uh, with the help of uh, what we call as so we have a db context so i'll say db context dot departments and then i'll just simply say add because i'm adding a new object onto that so i'll say a department object and finally i just want to save that db context dot save changes so that's where the uh, save changes are going to be done and then finally, if you just want, let's say a right line uh, record, new department has been created, something like this. Now, this is how you would do it. Now, fundamentally, if you try to run this, uh, let's say we have this as add record to the parent table looks fine we'll go here we'll try to build this and we are using watch to actually make those changes automatically done and then when it runs it gives us a couple of warning and it says new department has created and it's still waiting for those changes now in order to verify whether the department has been created or not we'll go to azure data studio we have four records and if we run this so we have 50 test department and BC. So it means we have successfully added a particular department out here. Now, the next step is if you want to add up a relational record where you have employee number, e-name, job, uh, manager or hire date or something like that, uh, that's what you need to do. And uh, we could actually use the relationship builder within the entity framework to receive that data uh, or to pass on that data within the same using the entity framework and then even uh, create a record within the child table. So let's see how we could actually use that. So friends, let's see now how we can add a record into the child table uh, with the help of entity framework. So we'll copy this whole uh, method which we have already written for the parent table. We'll paste it over here. Just kind of a uh, 
minimize that because we don't really need it so i'll just simply say add record to child table so that's what it is and uh, we'll also copy this because we are going to use it over here paste it and we'll just uncomment it that's the function will run once the code is done and we'll also use this method uh, now technically in order to work with uh, creation of new record in the child table you need to identify the primary record so let's say i want to create a table within department number 50 so if you see we just created a department number 50 which is our this one right so if i want to create a new employee within this department so what i can do uh, is i could actually fire a query first where department number is equal to 50 and because it is just gonna give me one record so first or default i'll get that now this department refers to that particular table and because the entity core framework automatically builds those relationships so i could use this department to actually add an object and its employees property to create a new object and then finally save it so I don't need this uh, department out here, uh, rather we'll just use the employee. So I'll say new of employee is equal to employee. And then we'll just use, let's say employee number is equal to 111. Employee name is equal to, let's say Rohit. Uh, manager is equal to 7962. I think so we have a 7962 employee number so let's say we'll just assign this 79 uh, no that's not there uh, it's 7902 so let's just assign that it's just only an example 7902 so that's one and then we'll just use salary let's say if salary is 9000 hard date is equal to because it's our date format so we could just use our date time and then pass on i'm just passing on my date of birth let's say 1202 that's uh, a high date we supplied and then there is a commission let's say 100 though it's a null could be supplied out and finally the department to which we have want to link it so that's department number 50. so that looks fine we have already set it up and uh, there's one more thing which we need to give is that is job so let's say job is equal to manager let's say this manager looks fine now i want to add this employee so i'll use this department which i've got it on line number 92 so i'll say dpt dot employees means for 50 number whatever the employees is i can get through and then i'm gonna add this new employee as an object once it is added into the memory i just want to save those changes and percolate to the database so what i need to do is db context thought that and then finally new employee has been created that's all that's what you need to do so let's see if it works for us or not and how we could use that so let's try that clear it out and before that we could just see the employees run that these are 14 uh, records okay let's try running it dot net run and once you run this new employee has been created which looks fine to us we'll just run that now i have 15 records this is the first record that's been created employee number my name job some manager hire date salary commission and department number is 50. Now, with the help of this, guys, you could not only automatically create the relational stuff also, like the uh, parent and child key relationship. You could create those single records or multiple records also. So that's the beauty of Entity Framework. You don't have to create it separately. You could just use it just like the way you are using with model classes, create those objects, and then finally push those changes to the database. So friends, I hope this video is going to help you out in learning how to create those entity framework records, uh, the create stuff within the CRUD uh, material. Uh, I'll be coming back with more videos on update and delete within the entity framework or Apple Silicon. So stay tuned and have a good one. Thank you.